Uh, <laughs> just something I've always wanted to wear in my life, you know, a single digit number. So why not do it my last year? What's, what's the difference between single digit and double digit? I just think it's, it looks good, yeah. honestly, yeah. Dunning said he could barely limp out the door with <laughs> Yeah, shout out to him. Uh, I mean, you know, I still got all love for him, what he's done so, done here, you know. It's a tragedy what happened to him, but uh, yeah, that was funny though. Peter, what, what's the, what's the, after you spent a spring and, a, and some summer digesting, what, what are some of the biggest, uh, I guess, assets or differences that you see if Coach Alco's defense? Uh, it's just, you know, everyone's talking, communicating better, you know. Uh, it's a, it's the same formation, like, you know, same scheme as Coach Javis, but this is different variants into it. So, uh, I mean, guys are just, you know, communicating better, you know, knowing their assignments a little better. It's more simpler for us, too. So, uh, I feel like we'll go out there and have a good time. How important is the tempo at practice for, for everyone to be on that same page and to rise to that level? Uh, it's a very important. You know, you have to come out, you know, with a lot of, you know, sense of urgency, uh, get ready to attack every day because, you know, you can't have no missed days, man. In this league, you got to compete every, at every day at every level. And I just got to go higher every day. What's it like having Donovan back in the preseason? Amazing, amazing. You know, having a player like that who can, who can tackle, cover, you know, plays fast, plays with, you know, a lot of passion. A guy like him that can be a leader back there for us too. Uh, it's uh, it's amazing to have him back. You know, how, how was that kind of an underrated loss that a lot of people didn't talk about that, that y'all didn't big have time. all last year? Big time. Big time. You know, how, how, how much of a void was there when he wasn't on the field last fall? Uh, you know, I don't know why people weren't really, weren't really talking about it, but, you know, he's a big time player. You know, having him back there, like I said, can, can help us a lot. And uh, you're going to see the season. Did going to SEC media days kind of help you get a little bit more mentally prepared leading up to this first practice as opposed to other years? Yeah, for sure. You know, me going there for the first time was, I think, I was fishing for the opportunity. Uh, going there, you know, I got a lot of questions asked, you know, just it had me, you know, fired up for the season, you know, to be a leader on and off the field. So I'm um, just blessed to be there. What's the worst question you got for me today? Oh, I can't really remember. Something about that. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's the worst, but I, I'll Something tell you. about the, your number? Nah, I didn't tell you my number at the time, but it was when they asked me about that Drake lyric. But I wouldn't say that was the worst. That wouldn't be the worst, but that would be the best. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a little bit, you know, something like that. <laughs> coaching staff in DC and all that. You yeah. Know a lot of guys back on your side of the ball, but yeah. You look at how last year ended. I know. You see how many points you gave up in the last couple games that didn't mm -hmm. set well with you guys. Aside from having new Elko coming in, what needs to change? And what's the mentality of your defense? You know, just everyone is coming to every day. You know, be it, you know, paying attention to detail, the little things. You know, because. You know, sometimes, you know, guys overlook things, you know, on the defense, they, you know, don't pay attention. But you come every day, you know, stay focused to your key and your assignments, you know, you can take it to take it to where you want to go. Do you like guys can have a top five defense, top four defense in the SEC? For sure. Who's Coach McGuire brought to, to this defense and that defensive line room? Say it again? McGuire, Coach McGuire. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's brought a lot, you know, talking to him, you know. You know, he wants me to be a leader in everything, you know, just, you know, especially for the young guys who come in this first day, you know, teaching them the little things, just just be a leader and play fast, really. What are some of those little things? That's the second time we've heard you say that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, you know, like taking care of your body, you know, watching film outside of here, stuff like that, and just going over what teams like to do, what you could get, you know, certain things in a certain position. So uh, just those type of things. Excluding yourself, who, do you, who else do you feel on the defensive line has really made strides this offseason? Maybe somebody you feel has improved the most. Improved the most? You know, everyone's been working really hard, honestly. Uh, pretty much, that's, that's how I can say everyone's been really working hard. You know, guys were getting in better shape since they've been here. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if everyone could contribute. Did you talk to Dalen about switching numbers? Uh, Did you ask him why he switched numbers? Uh, nah, he went back to his high school number. Right. Yeah, that's why. What's his number now? Uh, 34. 34. So he's, okay, so are you the only single digit guy? No, there's all kinds, yeah. What's the, why did big defensive linemen decide to do that? I think it just looks good, really. Looks it's good. Some, something like that, yeah. Okay. yeah. What are your first impressions from Diallo? Big, big guy, big, strong guy. You know, he's just, he coming from Juco, he's got to learn how to play in this league, you know, play with good technique and stuff like that. So we'll get him right for sure. How much of a learning curve is that to go from Juco? Because I think Clemens had to deal with that a little bit last year. I mean, how, how much of a jump is that to go from Juco into? You know, it's, it's, a, it's a big jump, you know, just playing this league. You know, you got to play with really good technique. You know, you got to learn certain things that, you know, you don't learn from Juco. So coming here is a, it's a big jump for sure. Well, the first college polls came out today. And Alabama's one, Clemson's two, and they're two of your first four opponents. Mm -hmm. Opportunity or challenge? Uh, another game for us. Another game for us. Opportunity, challenge, 
I don't, I don't, I don't really care what it is. It's just, again, another game for us, honestly.